What's going on YouTube? My name is Diesel and today we are back in production line. I want to thank everybody for all the love and support on this series and on the first video. Really appreciate it. If you enjoy these videos, make sure you hit that like button. Helps out my channel ever so much more than you know. I had to think about that for a second. Couldn't get the words out of my mouth. It's super early. I'm just sipping on a cup of my, uh, cup of my coffee. Getting everything done here. As you can see, we've done a little bit of work off camera. A little bit. We've taken this line and uh, just uh, separated them into two lines. So that we can double our profits. Um, although, it is kind of, to me, it's confusing anyway. Because, I mean, time it takes to put together the whole thing is 26 seconds. The whole thing, 20, with almost 30 seconds. Is that 26 minutes, 27 seconds? Yes. Hmm. Configure imports. Yeah. All I know is that this is taking a little bit uh, slower because, as you can see, you have three robots that are working on this joint right here, and the chassis are just getting bumped out, son. And then we have our little, uh, our little uh, robots are going crazy. But the thing that's really kind of holding everything up is the paint section. Really holds it up. We got one car that's waiting over here. We got a whole line of cars that are waiting over here. As you can see in the top right, we have a four million dollars because what I did was uh, just kept on selling cars and let it run for a couple hours. One ate dinner, <laughs> came back two hours later. Hey, what's going on? We have four million dollars now. Our research is just fantastic right now. We're doing really well. I wanted to do my best to try and unlock everything that's on the first tier, but also the second tier that doesn't have anything to do with manufacturing stuff. And that's what I did. So as you can see, um, everything except for this is just like uh, metal rolling, obviously. <laughs> increased refund while demolishing by 5%. This one uh, increased refund by 5%. So you, if you get these two things, you can uh, you know, destroy stuff and get 10% back on your dollar. Which isn't half bad. I will say this. Uh, <coughs> Excuse me, I had, to, I had to sneeze there for a second. Um, they need to make it a lot harder to delete things because if I accidentally right click on on uh, anything here, it just straight up deletes it. It just straight up just ba boom like ah ah. I need to have something like, are you sure you want to delete this? I just need that little pop up because uh, it's uh, there's there's a couple things in here that I I, I accidentally deleted. It's kind of a little nutty. So. I'm gonna, even though this is not exact, uh, it's not, I wouldn't say it's not even exactly, it's, uh, it's not at all, uh, super efficient. But we can work on that. But I wanna spend some money. So, what we're gonna do today is we are going to build, as you can see in the research here, I wanna see how much, how long it's gonna take for us to build an SUV body. We've unlocked it. It's ours. All of the efficiency when it comes to uh, our robots and import facilities, everything has been researched. And it only took like, I think it was probably like two hours, two, three hours of just speeding stuff up. It's not that, it's not hard. It's not, it's not something that's gonna, gonna kill you, bruh. I'll tell you what, we'll get some emergency brake assist. Yes, we'll research that now, because we're special. How about you, now? We do have to watch ourselves. I'm gonna let this guy run here. Cause I don't think we need to do too much. But I wanna build a basic SUV area. And I have a feeling that that basic SUV area is going to eventually turn into a bigger production line. That we can edit and uh, do all kinds of fun stuff and quirky weird stuff as well. Which is getting weird, man. So resource importer. We can import our resources here. Boom. All right, importer there. So this way, even if I want to do, uh, let's say if I want to purchase this area right over here, how much is that? Rent per square meter. So you you pay by the square, like literally the square. So we're paying a bit more now. So we have to pump out, pump out the jams a little bit better. Hmm. We'll get to this area. I have a feeling. I have a feeling we're going to be able to do a whole bunch of stuff. <clears throat> excuse me, excuse me. So, we can fit axles. 
axle foley, make of axles, fit axle front. We can actually have our own separate section for all of these things. I don't think we're going to do that too crazy. Fit undercarriage, right. But we can make a fit axles station. Now that's what we're going to do. Nice. All right. So. <clears throat> Excuse me. No route to stockpile. Okay. So I have a question. Assemble chassis. So if I do this. Right. So fit axles. Yeah. I was right the first time. I was right the first time, man. Make axle, fit front axle. Uh, fit axles, no round for research. Okay. Requirements, right. Nice. Robots, good. All right, so we can fit axles just in that area here. And then we can fit the undercarriage right there. Boom. And then we can fit fuel tank. I love fuel tank. <laughs> I love fuel tank. All right, now we can get all kinds of silly and stupid and such. Let's go ahead and get the conveyors. No, root stuff out. And we'll get our resource conveyor. I'd like to convey to you how enjoyable I enjoy this game. Is this, it's, it's pretty, it is pretty spiffy, man. It is pretty nifty. Let me just see if this actually, like, works. Like, does this build something? It does. Wunderbar. <laughs> it works. It's alive. It's alive. It's alive. All right, body frames. This is where it can get real expensive real quick. So... We can just have every single thing, and every single individual area here can be taken up by one of these little Jones here. And we can make all kinds of fun stuff. So we can just fit the body frame. Boom, whoa. <laughs> hey now. All right, so fit the body frame. Instead of adding all, we can add every single one of these individual areas here. crazy make roof yeah so far we haven't been able we're not able to make our own stuff yet really that will I'll wait that I'll wait that out for another episode fit door panels fit windows now as you can see like this will take time two minutes and 22 seconds so that's a lot of time man that's a lot of time that really is really 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 is I think maybe we can switch it up and we can we can possibly snake it around. <clears throat> Let's do that. Okay. Now our conveyors are super fast. They're super duper fast. Resource conveyor. Boom. Boom. <clears throat> Boom. And why don't I just make it a nice, a nice rectangle, you know? Just make it a nice rectangle, you know? Sure. Let's just put it there. All right. So this is the fit doors. And we're done there. Beautiful. Now, I will say this. Paint takes forever. The paint is redonkulous. Time. Three minutes. Twelve minutes. Four minutes. What? Huh? Huh? So, we're going to have a couple paint stations. Because the paint, the paint be taking a long time. Boom. We're going to have three paint stations. Because it takes oh, way too long for this to dry. And I have the max amount of drying too. Like the drying time, I've taken it all to heart fit engine aha so now 
this is a special part right here, man. Fit pallet train. Well, the problem is, is that now all these things will eventually go into the conveyor. But, I will say, we do have time now. <clears throat> we can fit the engine. We can, fit, we can basically fit the engine all right through here. We can fit the powertrain. Sure. Fit the powertrain. We're doing it. Fit the, the radiator. <coughs> Fit the exhaust. Fit wheel assembly. Fit steering assembly. Ah. Uh, okay, let's do a little spin. Let's do spinsies. Let's do some spinsies. Conveyor. Boom. I don't even know if this will work all that hot. It'll probably be super duper expensive. Fit lights, fit seats, air dashboard. Oh, we got all the accessories. This is beautiful. So, let's go ahead and let's do this. Can I make light? No. Okay, so fit lights. Boom. Fit horn. Oh, we can just attach all these. Oh, that's beautiful, man. Now, we have all the robots that we could possibly want inside of ourselves, so... Um, we can always upgrade to, what was this, fit seat, fit wind screen, wind screen, fit air, air, oh, air conditioning, beautiful. All right, so this area I have a feeling is going to be something that we are going to have to upgrade <laughs> pretty soon, but that's okay. It's all about the learning experience, folks. Fit air conditioning, and then fit the dashboard. Beautiful. All right, so let's go ahead and we'll minimize this. And then fit electronics. And we'll go double, double, double style. Boom. Conveyor. Boom. Hey now, thank you for the save. Appreciate it. Awesome. And now we'll do some two quality checks. Two quality checks, my friend. Conveyor. Hey now, hey, hey. Conveyor. There you go. And then we'll export you. Boom. Conveyor goes <laughs> a little too, a little too all the ways there. But that's fine. Boom. Now we'll get some resources over to our joints. Boom. Right, let's take this over to here. That'll work there. Now we're also gonna need a resource importer right there as well. We'll duble, get the duble going on here, man. So we'll put that there for the time being, and then we'll Throw this over here. Throw this over here. Connect everything up. Buttercup. I know that it's not the most efficient. So <laughs> spare me the comments, please. I am aware of all of the problems that could be involved in every single thing that we are about to do here. So let's go ahead and we'll put this here too. Let's put some extra power plants in here as well. Keeping everything, everything, everything. Everything's everything, baby. What is, what am I missing here? Oh, you're not connected. And let's just connect you up there as well. And then we'll put this over here. Let's start by putting in a stockpile for our door panel. Just for like our uh, 
main assembly, like the main chassis assembly. Add item. Sunroofs. Four. Get some bumpers. Kind of four the oh three. Three? Three? Add item. Some roofs. Some roofs. Some roofs there. Then we'll get some rear bumpers as well. Sweet. Next slot not found. See, this is the problem that I always seem to have. Okay, so. Boom. Conveyor. Just seems like next slot not found. So now we gotta try and like finagle this to try to figure out why it won't connect up. The next slot's right here, sir. Hey. Pardon me. It's like this is connected, man. This guy over here has no problem. This guy over here apparently has a problem too. No, he's fine too. So what's your what's your problem? What what's what, what's the problem here? No one else seems to have issues, except for you. Only you. Um, let's see here. Maybe he's just being very difficult. Which would not surprise me. Next slot not found. I don't understand what... Waiting for next slot. Next slot's right here, man. It's right here. You just gotta drive your, your lazy booty over here. Okay. So what's the deal? <laughs> what's, what's the hold up here, man? I'm not understanding. Okay. So what was the, uh, I don't, you know what? I don't even care. I don't even care. So now what we need to do, <laughs> it works for the most part. So now if we click on over here, we can upgrade efficiency. Is there any way for us to like change something about this? Or do we have to just hold up on it? So this is just a big old, this is a big old cluster mess. All right. Waiting for the next vehicle. Our power is stretching a little thin. Let's go ahead and we'll just put another power plant right here, man. All right, so this is jamming us up all in this mix right here. Okay. All right. So you know what we're gonna try and do? How long does this usually take? Oh no, next slot not found. Oh no, figures. Got to keep an eye out. All right, let's put you. So annoying. <laughs> this is so annoying to have to try and do. Uh, let's see here. All right. Let's start fresh. Let's start over. So, there you go. Next slot not found. How dare you? So I think what you have to do is when it, when it does that, conveyor, you just got to connect them up. And now it's all good. I think that's what I was doing wrong. Hey, man. There you go. That's what we had to do. Right. Hey, look at us. So, we have air conditioning that adds a little extra sexiness to it. So we can increase the price. That's what we're gonna do. It's gonna be beautiful, man. 
Market value. Just increase that a little bit. Oh, yeah. Let's start making that cash, baby. Let's start making that sweet, sweet grain. So, I have a feeling that once I've unlocked most of the, like, make the light fit horn, if I did all of those individual parts, which, uh, for the most part, I kind of did, but it'd allow us to edit those certain areas. So, this is going to get a lot more crunched in, a lot more expansive, and uh, a lot more expensive as well. So now, we can kind of see where we're getting a little bit of a hold of. And it's not in the paint section for the first time. For the first time ever. So what we're going to do here, let's go ahead. Whoa. Ah, configure imports. Prefer local, only local. Nice. Hold on here. Huh. Okay. Okay. I'll tell you what, though. Let's go ahead and add some robots. Let's just get silly. Oh, yeah. Now, it does add more power to your uh, to your area, um, but not a whole lot, surprisingly. It's probably a little bit more expensive as well. Are we making any money here? Is this a thing? Can we... Can I retire now, finally? I want to try and build an SUV, but at the same time, I don't know how to do that. <coughs> oh, body style. Change. Change? Sedan? Change? SUV. I want to check. Oh, God. This, uh, <laughs> this is where you determine the product. Oh, okay. The production schedule for the slot. Each line is a car body style and the quantity produced. Once the schedule reaches the bottom, it will automatically loop around. You cannot have an empty schedule. Also, note only currently researched body styles will be shown. Well, SUV. I want to kill you. Do it. Is that an SUV? Is that really an SUV? It kind of looks like a like a Subaru sedan. I don't. I, <laughs> we have a Tesla, and now we're going to have a Subaru. Apparently, I'm interested to see what this comes out as. I I would like to see that. I would enjoy seeing that for sure. All right, so everything seems to be going kind of okay. If we could speed these along a little bit faster, that'd be kind of nice. That would be lovely. Headley. And that's fit body frame. So that's just doing the whole joint. That's what's really holding up the mess here. Seems like everything is waiting on... We could be a little bit quicker if we had these going on here. Be a little bit faster if we had two of those at least. Minimum. Okay. So let's pause. And let's delete this stuff here. Two of you. I see what's going on here. All right. Let's go ahead and chassis assemble. No. Fit axles. And we can... Uh... Yeah, let's flip it around this way. All right. So now... This is just the fit axles. Fit the undercarriage. And then we can fit the fuel tank going over here. Good. So let's get the conveyor. Goes this way to through to this line. And then what we'll do is we'll have another joint coming over here, which will then be the fit the body section. Fit the body frame. Conveyor. Whoops. Resource conveyor, that's okay because we have to connect them up anyway. Boom. 
Now, I'm sure there are people that are just screaming into their iPhones, uh, iPads, whatever. Oh, see, 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 I right click one thing and forget about it. It's crazy, I tell you. So then we'll take you. Yeah, let's just put it that way. You're like, this is not efficient. I can just see the comments right now. Listen, man, I'm just learning. I'm just learning the game, son. All right, uh, 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 pause. Why can't I f fit? Yeah, I was gonna say, what's going on here? Add new entry. No, don't want a sedan, SUV. Hmm, I think it's because it's already working on one. So let's go ahead, we'll work on that one. Go ahead, you're doing your thing, chicken wing. Add new entry. Now it's kind of cool how I think we can uh, we can do different kinds all on the same production line. We can do a mixture of sedans with SUVs. Right now it looks like uh, SUV and sedans are all we got. They're all we got, bruh. We got two in the showroom, three in the showroom. Well, that's not cool. That's not cool. So is this the same car that we just have over and over again? But one has air conditioning? Hey, they're selling though. Not, not as fast as I'd like it. Hmm. Diesel sedan. Luxury at its finest. It's like if you was trying to purchase a Jaguar. Hello. This is a Jaguar. Gotta love how Mark Strong just likes to deliver those lines. <clears throat> He's like, yes. Welcome. You must buy a Jaguar. I don't have to buy. A, I don't have to buy a thing, sir. Kind of freaking me out with that whole Jaguar thing. Is there? Hold on here. Did I? Hold on. What have I done? Hold on. We have this fit body frame here. Uh, fit the roof the roof the roof is on fire there we go that's what we were missing there we go hey all right now we're playing with fire all right so this goes over to there. Our power is kind of going down as well. Let's see if we can add another power. Like to add more power. Ha, 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 ha. There we go. Now, as far as the time frame, I know that everything takes a little bit extra longer. A little bit extra longer. A little bit extra. A little, little bit extra. Also, it's like a hatchback. This is, this is no, it's not a hatchback. Let's just see what the final product is before I go ahead and start talking some ish. Now we got all these different kind of body frames over here. Let's go ahead and we'll add. Let's go ahead and add our robots. Next slot not found, how dare you? How dare you? Should know better. Hey man, there we go. Gosh dang it, man! I'm telling you, man, that right click—they have it. No, Ugh. <laughs> let's get out of that screen. I'm just spending all kinds of cash that I shouldn't be spending. So let's see what these SUVs look like, man. Oh, they're, they're rolling to the paint shop. 
But I'm on to the paint shop now. Let's double up the speed. How's everything going down here? Normal? Good. Good, good. To the paint shop she goes. I don't know where she went. Yeah, because even in the research, the research that I got going on here. Oh, break says it's almost, it's almost completed. It's almost completed. Now, as far as the accessories, I thought that you could do something. Like wheel assembly, exhaust. There's all accessories. Fit lights. Okay. Oh, okay. So this is where you can go ahead and you can purchase different things to add in to your mix. So automatic headlights, auto steer headlights. Let's go ahead and we'll buy that. We'll go ahead and we'll purchase that. So now we can edit our things here. Fit horn. <laughs> There's really no extra section for horns. Passenger airbag because now, we, yes, you know what? We should care about our passengers. Not just the driver now. Heated seats, leather interior. Oh, oh. On research. Oh, I haven't researched that yet. Oh. Leather interior then. Bye. It's all about the accessories, folks. Automatic wipers. We'll buy that. We'll buy the auto wipers. We got all kinds. We got we got all these skills. Climate control pollen filter. Unresearched extra robots. Okay, so our air conditioning unit. Extra robots. Hester. Oh, he, Hester. How stupid am I? Um, driver airbag. Yes. And yes. So we can add our accessories. And look at us. All right. Sell price premium. This is going to diesel Durango. Beautiful. The base price basic car how dare you there's gonna be all these features on this joint man automatic headlights it's like does it does that add extra air conditioning I'm not sure we'll put a nice little cell press yeah that'll be good Diesel Durango, baby. Looking good, baby. Ever since I couldn't think of that name. <laughs> Ever since I couldn't think of the name of that Dodge. I was like, what is the name of that Dodge? Don't worry. So when uh, our SUVs come through here and they get all those different accessories, we're going to have to change the uh, thing again. Let's go ahead. In-car music. Bluetooth phone support. Yeah, that's fine. And voice recognition. Oh, we got voice recognition software. It's probably going to add to the time. But at the same time, we can add more robots. Our power consumption is really rocking right now. Really, really rocking. I'll tell you what. Let's go ahead. I'll put another one right here. Yeah. So good, we got a fourteen thousand dollars diesel sedan and a diesel Durango is going sixteen thousand seven to seven two seven. That should be a way more expensive, but that's okay. We'll load this up. It's gonna it's gonna change anyway when we uh, come over here to the export section. It's all gonna change when it hits the uh, the exporting. Just gonna ask us again to name it because we added a couple extra features to it, or it doesn't. Fine then. Fine then. This is easily a twenty thousand dollar car. Easily. Twenty percent. I'm feeling good about it. Let's make some money, baby. Let's sip on some coffee. Happy Saturday, everybody. Happy Saturday. I'll tell you what, man, we're looking good. We're looking all right. Let's just see how our uh, uh, profits are working. We'll, we'll, we'll be the judge of that right now. As far as our achievements go, I, uh, during the time off, when I went and went for dinner, 500 cars in a single game, 1,000 cars in a single game, 
We also have our million dollar, $10 million mark because we sold cars and got on over that. But now it's all about performance parts and then premium car production. Oh yeah, that's where the good stuff's gonna be. Let's see how backed up we are. We are we are backed up, baby. We're not as backed up as we should be though. I, this is actually pretty decent. I mean, we could put a third, we could put a third fit body frame section here because that seems to not be an issue. Hmm. Hmm, extra robots. Sunroof. Sunroof. Just buy one set of extra robots there. But we really could use another fit body frame. It's taken up a bunch of our time. And money. Headley. Uh, very cool. Show stockroom. $24,000. It's good stuff. I like that. We are making money. We are making money. It's just taking a little time for all this. So this is all still a work in progress and it's a quality work in progress that I am enjoying. Uh, we got a couple trucks in there. There we go. That's okay. We can have we can have those cars in the showroom. We can have those cars. They'll sell. They'll sell. The people that need them. They want them. They got to have them. So we do see a lot of a lot of Durango's in there, man. What if I speed this up real quick? Oh, are we selling them? Yeah, we're selling them. They're selling, just taking a little extra time. Sometimes people don't need SUVs. How dare you? But I think we're going to be fine. We're going to be just fine over here. We're going we're gonna to be fine. We're fine. We're fine. So, very, very cool. Folks, that's our episode. We made our SUV. We are making, uh, making a whole bunch of accessories. We're figuring out on the fly just how how backed up things can get. And I think just from this, we can make this into a core, like a little core section of automobiles. And uh, we can add on to here, we can build from here. This way we don't have to worry about falling apart. <laughs> Cause if you hit zero dollars, the game's over. Like there's no getting loans or anything like that. So folks, if you enjoyed this video, by all means hit that like button, helps out my channel ever so much more than you know. And if you like it a whole lot, go ahead, hit subscribe. New videos coming out every single day, every single week, folks. Have a great day, afternoon, evening, a good night. Peace out, like, shout y'all, and I will check you out right here again in production line next time. It rhymes. It's like it's meant for me. It's like this game is meant to be played by me. I got bars. So good. <laughs>